Nice. 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 It's different here. It's not a, a buffet style parakuhi, but parakuhi is still included in our hotel stay, so that's awesome. Yep. Yeah, they give you a piece of paper and you choose what you want. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty nice. excited. I'm really enjoying this place actually. Enough for our two humble selves. Mike's a giant here. Watch as we walk past these people. <laughs> He's a giant. So this place has a Texas chicken, which is new for us in West Auckland. And a Carl's Jr. Hmm, I wonder if they taste the same. This here is the... Cathedral Notre Dame. Catholic Church. Beautiful. So busy around here. Okay, I know this is a very, very um, special and important post office. This uh, post office, the architecture for this post office, was the same man that made the Eiffel Tower. It's beautiful. Let's go inside. Wow, how amazing is the inside? It's not your average post office whānau. <laughs> Ho Chi Minh up there on the wall. Hey Ma, this must be your uh, the, the Ho Chi Minh version of uh, flyways, fastways, courier, whatever like that. Eat your heart out, have a look at the domestic, all of this type of stuff. Domestic and international parcels. It's all crazy in this amazing air building. Mm. Pretty cool. Uh, we're here in Ho Chi Minh City in the post office. And we're just writing a couple of postcards um, for some people back home. Uh, it's pretty cool for us because we don't actually get to send mail like ever. So going back to handwriting things and um, putting stamps on them, which is exciting. So Mike's here just finishing off his letter and then we're going to send them in the post. Here we go, we're going off to the mail. There they go. Yeah, here we go, Fano. We have to hold hands because this is some dangerous shit. Oh yeah, no one's coming. Oh, it's not that bad. No, my side. You just, you just calmly walk through. Do not walk faster, do not walk slower, because they will all work around you. What an amazing system. Where are we, Mike? Oh, we're just in a small establishment. Yeah, I don't know if tourists should be coming over there, but uh, we just got us some drinks and get having us a quick lunch before we shoot off. Okay, for rice. Okay, for rice. So, we had a needles this morning. So, um, we just had check time. Is that us? It's char time. Oh, char time, chat time. <laughs> we got us some whole thing. Uh, I got myself a uh, <coughs> chocolate mousse flavour. What did you get done? I got um, real, real milk tea. Real milk, milk tea. What do you think? It's got little chewy balls in it. So like it's like, what do they call it? A bubble milk tea or something? Bubble tea? Bubble tea. Mm. Reminds me of Penny Money, she likes these. So that, just to cool off a little bit during this uh, muggy weather, I find so it's pretty cool. Gosh, it takes like a million years to get out onto the road because there's no road rules. The, the car 
has muskets, so no idea. Hey, kia ora whanau. So we just took a, a, a bit of a day off in terms of the attitude for gratitude so we could find our bearings. Now we're in the new city of Ho Chi Minh, but we're back and we're here to do a huge shout out to two amazing people that just got engaged, Rawinia and Gideon. So when I asked where do you go around the world that has the best food, you told us Vietnam. And we are here to go on a food tour. Watch the space. This is in your honor, Father. It's very easy when you get on and get up, just on the left side, not on the right side, because this one is very hot. Oh, Do yes. you want to get Vietnamese tattoo? No. no. Yeah, very hot. And just try to get balance when we're driving, just that. Okay? People here are very good at avoiding each other. I'm so just asking her. Uh, do you know the population here? In Ho Chi Minh? Yes. No, I don't. 10 million people. Yes. And how many motorbikes? Yes. How many motorbikes? Seven. Seven million motorbikes? Yes. We've only got four million in our country. Yeah, four million people. <laughs> four million people. So you can see the street here is always crazy and chaotic. Yeah. This is uh, sesame. sesame. Yes, with some coconut milk. Oh, yes. And this oh. one is corn. With corn. Some corn. With some coconut milk also. Yep. This one, sesame. Yes, some sticky rice, boiled sticky rice, and some uh, coconut milk. Oh. And this one, tamarind. Tamarind. With some sticky rice and coconut milk. Oh, yeah. And the last one is some plant. Some plant with some coffee and uh, coconut milk. Here we have some more. sesame. Hey yeah, Rembesh, just want to show you a little bit of this stuff here. So that's around our fish cake, eh? But you see the crust around it is a naturally coloured rice. 
exactly what you've been wanting to try to do your business on without the artificial stuff. So it's here in Vietnam. So you put a creative Embryo. Name. Embryo. Oh, balut egg. <laughs> balut egg, yes. <laughs> an embryo. What's an embryo? Or we also call it fertilized duck. Yes, and then you peel it. You like it? No, I used to, but I see a lot of guests are very scared of this thing, so I gave up. No, <laughs> you have a lot of influence on me. Okay, so you can now. Look at that. ones on. We have some soup. Oh. And this one is very nice because it's not very old. Yeah. Okay, and here my... you can see some salt. Some oh, salt, salt yeah. pepper, and lemon. With pepper. Say. No, this one is kumquat. 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 What's yes. that? A lime. The relative, relatives of lime. Kumquat. So Relative. Yes. So, you want chili? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Really little. Yes. And you use the spoon. This one is Vietnamese coriander. And we have, you can see, we have three parts inside. One is the yellow part. Which is the main part? Looks like a killer. And one is the duck, the body of the duck. Yeah. But this one is very I'm young. A duck. Yes. But this <laughs> one is very young. Sometimes the one is very old. You can see some feathers, some bones, some <laughs> head. But this one is not scary. So nice. let's try this one first. Want to eat it? Yeah. So I'll tuck it in there, didn't it? Yeah. You dip with some pepper, pepper salt, and then you put it. Yes. It's not so disgusting. Yeah, it's good. It's just this coriander. The salad. Tamarind. 
It's plum. Water plum. Water plum. Water, dragon fruit. And this one is Vietnamese apple. Oh, uh, it's like the, the reed thing with the... What is that called? It's a very pretty way of eating. Okay, see. Go to see. Okay, darling. You should be able to squeeze it out. Mm. I don't know what that is, but it's beautiful. Ales with coconut milk. You can see a hole here. People make it so that you can. Oh, That's all. Yes. Mm. Some clams. Peanuts and green onions. Green onions. So we are just back from our amazing, amazing, once in a lifetime, unforgettable night um, with Hue and Yui. Yui. Um, man, I oh man, so it was just like amazing. Like, can't even put into words how amazing it was. With every dollar and more, mm -hmm. they went over time. Uh, they took us to places that we weren't supposed to go on the tour purely because it was our honeymoon. And man, just every part of it, being on the motor motorbike or the scooter, like I said, there's no no theme park that can that can match that type of adrenaline. And then we just got used to it. And all the food, and then just yeah. their company. And They're just so lovely. Like the people here are just kind and caring, but beyond those words they're just super just oh uh, had such an amazing night thank you so much to Rawania and Gideon um, one for letting us know that Vietnam is an amazing place to come and visit and they're pretty much the biggest reason as to why we chose to come here because they only had nice things to say and now we only have nice things to say about Vietnam so thank you both and um, I'm pretty sure that you guys would remember how good the food was and yeah, yeah just so um, if Hui and Yui, we need you to like this page and we need to try to add you uh, because to any of our whanau that are subscribed to our channel on our Facebook that are coming to Vietnam, uh, you really need to go and find Hui. Uh, she's learned everything on her own in terms of her English and stuff like that. She's from here. She loves it here. She's a person that you really need to see. So we recommend, and we're going to have her on Facebook. So anybody that goes to Vietnam, tell us. We'll connect you through. And you need to come on this tour at least. Mm. At least need to come on this tour. Amazing. Pumari. Pumari.